Okay, here we're going to prove that if the product of two consecutive integers is not divisible by 3, then their sum is, the sum of those integers is. Okay, so to begin this proof, let's assume that the product of two consecutive integers is not divisible by 3. Okay, so let's think about for that for a moment. So, if the product of the two consecutive integers is not divisible by 3, then that means that neither of the integers themselves can be divisible by 3. Because if one of the integers were divisible by 3, then when we perform the product, we would have a factor of 3 floating around in there. So, since we're taking two consecutive integers and the product is not divisible by 3, so we know neither of these integers themselves is divisible by 3. Okay, so since neither of the integers themselves must be divisible by 3, new line of reasoning now, or kind of new paragraph, so therefore the two consecutive integers, integers, none of them can be equal to 3k, right, because 3k is a multiple of 3, so therefore the two consecutive integers must be let's say 3k plus 1 and 3k plus 2 for some integer k. Right? For some k in the integers. Because it can't be 3k because that would be a multiple of 3. So we have two consecutive ones, they have to be next to each other, it must be a 3k plus 1 and a 3k plus 2 for some k. Okay, so now notice what is 3k plus 1 plus 3k plus 2. Well, just by a little bit of arithmetic algebra here, really, that's 6k plus 3, which is the same as 3 times 2k plus 1. And since 2k plus 1 is an integer, we see that the sum of the two consecutive integers, the sum of the two consecutive integers is divisible by 3, just as we were hoping. Right? Whoops, too many e's. Divisible by 3, right? Multiple of 3. So that concludes this proof.